for month after month they have been hiding living in a swamp along the Nile while a bitter war burns around them these people have only now come out because they have heard UN aid workers will be bringing in food that has been in very short supply We've not received aid in months. We don't have food. We collect wild fruits and roots of the water lily, cook and eat. The UN's organizing an airdrop. Over the weekend, it began registering those who dare to come out of hiding. Aid workers say urgent intervention is needed to help tens of thousands of people suffering in South Sudan. However, access to parts of the country hit by famine remains a challenge due to a poor road network, insecurity and occasional restrictions from armed groups putting the lives of many here at high risk of starvation. And the most vulnerable are the children, some of them here already showing the classic signs of malnutrition. Nutrition crisis is not only about food, it is also about health services, it's about water and sanitation, access to safe water and uh, basic services. This is the first UN visit to Lair County for a year. The UN has accused the government of blocking access. South Sudan's President Salva Kiir has now vowed to ensure aid agencies can get in, but he is insisting this is not a famine, just a food shortage. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.